Good afternoon, Keller Williams, and welcome back to the KW Command 66 Day Challenge 4.0. And today is day 58. Today we're going to talk about another release that has come with MegaCamp, and that is in our designs editor, the ability to create new email templates. So to create an email template, we're going to come into the designs applet. And this email template is really used for kind of like a, um, a broadcast email. If you wanted to send out one email to multiple people uh, creating something, this could also be something that you send to many people at different times. Uh, but you know, basically the ability to create a customized email that you want to be able to use in uh, campaigns. So I'm going to click on the email and I'm going to get into next. And you'll see there's an entire series of new templates that have been added here. Um, you can take some time and kind of look through these. What I'm going to teach you today is how to create your own. So to create your own email template, you would click on create new template. And it's basically going to open a blank canvas here with you for you. And then you'll see eight widgets on the right hand side here. These are very similar to uh, kind of how we did our landing pages. If you remember those videos, how we create uh, widgets or, you know, bring in widgets and then customize those. So uh, I would say, let's go ahead and just start off by bringing in, uh, we could bring in a legal footer if you wanted to do that. And then I would probably bring in some amount of text because obviously this is an email. You want to start off by having some sort of text. So you can click on any of the blocks and well, the ones that are editable, editable, excuse me, and you're going to see the pencil. So I can come in and actually start writing my text here. I could say, hi, and then, right, we love merge fields. So this on the far right hand side, these are all of the merge fields. Now you're going to see that there are significantly more merge fields now within the email editor, which is pretty cool. Uh, but we're just going to choose contact first name. And then we're going to put a comma. And then you could write the body of your email. So maybe it's something about showing off your newest listings or your newest listings. Um, I wanted to reach out to show you our newest listing, right? And whatever you were going to put, um, something simple, blah, 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 whatever you're having actually there. Okay. So once I've got that text, I can click on done and you can see there that uh, information is there. So that's essentially how you would bring in text box. Again, just bring them over. You would click on the box, click on the pencil, and you'll see you can put in merge fields. You can change the size of the font. You can choose from a few fonts if you'd like, change that up, and then do some formatting here with regards to bold, italicized, underline, uh, form, you know, which way you want it aligned, if you want some bulleted lists or indentations or add an actual link. If you click on one, you're like, oh, I didn't mean to put that there. You can always come to the trash can and remove that and then you had that block is no longer there. Uh, you can also put in images. So maybe I would drag over this image and that might be a photo of the front of the house. The nice thing is I can select these images from the listing. So I can actually go in and find an active listing. My friend Donnie Brookman gave me one of their listings to use in this video from his team there in Florida. So we check it out. Here's the listing as soon as I click on it. It's going to bring up all the photos. I mean, look at that access. I'm going to choose that photo. I'm going to click on save. And there you go, right? A pretty enticing photo. And then you could come down, put in another text box if you wanted to underneath that by dragging that down. You could say, uh, check out, right? So let's look on the pencil, sorry. Uh, check out the listing details below. Also, we've got a video walkthrough. Be sure to, you know, be sure not to miss that. Again, we're just kind of putting in different text boxes. We would click on done. Maybe I want to center this one. So I'm going to go back to the pencil and click on center. And now you'll see that it's actually centered. Click on done. And there you go. So I want to bring in the actual listing. Now I'll use what's called the listing block. I can drop that in. It's going to ask me for the address. So I come in and do 510 Moonstone Way again. And that's Orlando. Do a search. And that'll pull up the property. So I can click on that property. Again, which photo do I want to go with? Now I'll probably do a different photo. So let's use this one. It pulls in the majority of the information over here on the right hand side. The only thing it didn't bring in was the square footage. 
and I need to have a link to where I want them, if they click on that box, where I want them to go to. So my recommendation is that you have some sort of site that you can generate leads from. So this is actually my KW site with that listing pulled up. And so I'm gonna copy this link first. I'm gonna drop that in the link to, and we're gonna do a web address, and I'm gonna put that address in. And then the property was 2116 square feet. So let me put that one in as well. And then I can click on done. And now you can see here is the listing block that's gonna show up there for you as well. And then finally, if we wanted to drop in a video, I could bring in the video block, right? And you can see right now the default is just a gray pick, you know, kind of a gray thumbnail. It's not real enticing, doesn't really tell them what they're gonna click on. I would definitely recommend that you use the replace button. So you click on replace, you can bring in images. So I'm gonna click on add images. Uh, this is actually the thumbnail from a video I did previously on one of my old listings. I would drop that one there. And then you can see, okay, I'm gonna choose that image and click on replace. So there you have the new thumbnail. And then I've gotta put in the actual video URL. So I would pull that off of, in this case, YouTube. And I'm gonna put that video URL there. And then I would click on done. And so now I've got the thumbnail for the video. And if they click on play, it'll actually take them there. Uh, finally, I would wanna come down, probably put one more text box in, just thanking them, right? It doesn't automatically bring in a signature. Uh, so thanks for, oops, gotta edit it. I'll get used to that eventually, just like you will. Click on the pencil. And thanks for checking out this video. Uh, if you need anything in the future, just let me know. Right, so whatever you were gonna type, and then I'd make sure that you had your signature included so that they know, right, that it's obviously coming from you and how to get a hold of you in the future if they had any questions, referrals, etc. So I would click on done there, and then you can see here's the bottom portion of that. The nice thing is that as you're going, you have the ability to kind of see what this looks like on a computer or desktop, laptop, what it would look like on a tablet. So I can get a preview of that, and then I can see kind of what it looks like on mobile. I can also come in and click on options and preview there, and it's gonna give me the same preview mode. It just actually shows up with my information. So I can see what that looks like actually bringing in the information there, and then actually bringing in the information on the tablet. So I can clear out of the preview mode, Options also allows me to send a test email. So I would recommend that you do that as well. So I would just put test email and I would put in my email address because I wanna see what it looks like and send test email. So let me pull up my Gmail real quick. I'll show you what the actual email looks like. And then tomorrow I'm gonna to teach you how you can actually put together a uh, email list and how you would send out these designs. So um, give me just a second and we'll pull that up. The other thing too is that you have the ability to come in and you can kind of, again, go into preview mode. There's several ways to get into preview mode there, if you will. Uh, you can also undo and redo. And then finally, you have some additional buttons. You have a legal footer. Uh, you've got the event block. I like the event block. I'll tell you, um, there's some uses there. I could bring in this event block. It's already formatted to have a picture and then three lines of text and then a linked button. So I could come in and edit and bring in the photo, put in the text, I could have that photo be linkable. Then I could come in and edit the text in box one, edit the text in box two, edit the text in box three, and then actually edit the button. And I can do a lot of edits with the button as well. So I think this is um, a really powerful widget, the event block, don't overlook it. It could definitely be used um, you know, for several of the things that you may be working on. So here's that test email. Let's come in and you can see that it's got my branding. Now it's not gonna have the first name because this is just a test, but you can see here's the photo. And if I click on that, it brings up just the photo. But if I click on the listing, it'll take you to the landing page that I've linked up so they can actually get all the details on this listing. And then if they come back and they click on the video, it'll load my YouTube page with that video actually playing, ready to go right then and there. So that is the email editor, the ability to create kind of your own blank template. I'm gonna come in and remove this one. Once I'm done, I would click on save, 
oh, template name can't be empty, right? So this was our test 66 day challenge. And then I would click on save and exit. So now we have that template created. Uh, tomorrow I'm gonna show you how to create a campaign with an email list and then actually bring this template into that email list and the ability to send it out. So hope everyone's having a fantastic mega day, mega day, mega camp week. And I'll look forward to speaking with you tomorrow. Thanks guys, have a good one.